So hey guys, Moredi again here from Sky. Uh, today we are going to showcase a uh, submersible solar water pump. And uh, today it's a 12 volt one. We have done some other videos for solar pumps also. Uh, we did a, uh, 24 volt submersible pump and we've also done uh, a video for a 24 volt surface pump. We're going to link the video somewhere up here so that you can also watch those. But uh, it's all about a quick demo. But today, uh, things are different. We are not outside. Uh, we happen to do this video on, in, in July. It's actually in July. So there's literally no sunlight outside. So we're going to use a, a battery pack rather than uh, the solar panel. But we will show how you can also connect the solar panel, although it won't work. Uh, since we are actually conducting the, the showcasing inside the room rather than uh, rather than outside. So as you can see, we have a very big karai over here. Uh, one big karai. This, this is going to act as our pond or our, you know, our reservoir for the water. And then we have a hundred uh, amps battery over here. And we have, since we are going to carry, to, to showcase this, uh, you know, as easy as possible, as simply as possible. We have this particular hose pipe. This is what I'm going to use. Uh, let me just go to it. So guys, this is a submersible 12 volt pump. This is actually a very good pump. Maybe if you would want to use for a pond, a fish pond, or there's so many applications for these submersible water pumps. And uh, that's basically how it looks like. So it's usually submerged into water uh, and basically what I'm going to do since I want to use this particular battery over here is that I'm going to connect an outlet pump by pumper and I'm going to do this as kenyeji as possible my plumbing skills are way low I don't have any plumbing skills <laughs> but this is going to do the demo for me and uh, this is where I'm going to get the power from. And uh, what I'm going to do is submerge this into water like that. And with this, I have my pump over here, but I'm going to let it pump out the water, but bring it back so that I'm able to to retain the, the amount of water that I'll be having. I can also maybe use a separate uh, separate point to, to draw out the water. But uh, one of the things maybe to consider with these submersible pumps, first, if it's DC, remember there, the current, you should always be able to, you should always take care not to, uh, mismatch the polarities also never let it run dry that is also a very big problem so uh, for instance I should not let it run when it's not having any water that would be a big problem so those are the two may maybe main things to do with DC and uh, solar pumps and also something else to note you should not also let it run with uh, maybe water with debris like uh, what do you call it uh, dirty water this particular pump is not for dirty water. There are other pumps that can do dirty water, like the sewage sewage pumps, which usually have maybe some blades or something to usually cut off uh, the big chunks of particles inside the water. But this is a clean water pump, so you should always be very careful not to let it run with dirty water. Uh, so, and with that, I think this can be done. Maybe let me just ask some assistance. Uh, with that, I'm just going to connect it. Woo. One to go. So guys, basically that's it. We are letting the water back so that we have sufficient water for the pump. Remember, it should not run dry. Uh, so basically that's it. Guys, as you've seen, uh -huh. so as you've seen from the demo, this particular submersible pump 
very high flow rate, as you've seen. Uh, it's able to be powered by that particular battery, a 12, uh, a 100 amp hour battery, and it gives it a very good flow rate. Uh, the same, same particular solar pump can also be powered by this particular solar panel over here and it can be able to connect it directly but i told you since we are doing this video in july there's literally no sunlight and uh, this wouldn't be able to help but if you want to maybe do it as a, a a setup a complete setup you might need to buy a battery so that maybe just in case when there's no sunlight and you need to draw out your water you can easily do uh, you can easily do that but in areas where there's just minimum sunlight this one will be able to work for you perfectly and it has actually a capacity of up to 15 15 meters deep so you can easily uh, i think 15 meters 15 multiplied by around uh, three it's around 60 feet uh, around around 60 feet yeah around 45 feet to be exact 45 feet so you can easily do this uh, fetch water maybe on a 45 meter well uh, using this particular submersible pump basically that's it you can easily connect it directly just in case you don't need uh, the battery although you'll have down times when there's no sunlight like we are doing now uh, but basically that's it that's it for the for for, for this particular uh, submersible pump remember we are doing other videos for different kinds of products remember to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out for any video that we upload and uh, with that, see you next time. If the video was impactful, kindly give us a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down there. And if you like more of our content, kindly subscribe over here and don't forget to hit the notification button.